This year, earlier, I, I picked up running. I wouldn't say that I am a runner, just to clarify. Running is something that I did never, and now I do sometimes. And so uh, running, I've taken up a little bit. And, and one of the things that I've learned as I've done so is in order to commit to running, it takes a lot of time. Uh, like, I'll run, not, not even high mileage or anything. I'm running like three miles, and it's like 40 minutes of my day. Don't do the math on that, but 40 minutes of my day just spent running. I'm like, man, like, I don't have the time for this. Like, this is eating up my, my, my time, my life. And yet, you already know that, don't you? You already know just how time-consuming running is. We felt that in our relationship with God. How many hours, how many days, how many months, how many years maybe have you devoted to running? And again, it doesn't have to be some, some big outlandish thing. And yet, is there a part of you that you have kept away from the reach of God, away from his grasp? If so, God, he's saying, I'll restore that. Like, whatever the distance, however much time it's cost you, whatever the destruction in your life that's been caused by this, I will restore it. We can believe that promise in confidence because this is what God has been writing throughout all of human history. See, from the very jump, from Adam and Eve in the garden, what we see is that humanity has decided to run as far and as fast as we can from God. Like we've said, hey, God, your way, your purposes, your plans, your will, your relationship with me, Thanks, but no thanks. I'm going to leave that in the desk, and I'm going to go my own way in sin. And we know, right, we've seen it around us, we've felt it in our lives, that that running, that sin, it's had consequences that are costly in our lives. Like we felt the, the, the stolen joy, uh, the robbed peace. We've, we've even felt the distance in a relationship from God. And yet, rather than God just saying, hey, go knock yourself out. He has came running after us by sending his son, Jesus, from heaven to earth to live a perfect life, to die a death on the cross that we deserved, and then to rise in victory once more. And because of that, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 19, it would say, therefore, we have confidence to enter the holy places. And we have confidence to come back, to return to God. Why? Not because of our ability to do what's right. Not because we're going to figure it out tomorrow. No, because of the blood of Jesus. Hey, thanks for watching. To find out more about Houston's First, you can subscribe to our channel or you can go to houstonsfirst.org.